You were on the call last night. Yes. What did you think? I mean, you know, it's very reminiscent for us to the call in 2001 that Enron had. Um, if you look at what happened in 2001, Jeff Skilling in 2001, the second quarter, called an analyst an asshole, essentially. And the stock at that point was at $55, and shortly thereafter it was at $9. So it was very reminiscent of that uh, in our view. Reminiscent in terms of the company as well, or is that taking it a little bit too far, Gordon? Well, we're not saying uh, Tesla's Enron, but let's look at the facts. They burn over a billion dollars in the quarter, which is the third largest cash yep. burn ever. Their gross margin for the total company sank to the, low, the lowest level ever. And people are talking about a good auto margin, but when you mix in um, uh, the services business, the margin was essentially flat. So uh, the other thing, too, is the inside EVs numbers with respect to the amount of cars that they, uh, that they delivered in April, which was 3,850 3, cars, which is way below, I think, what people were expecting of 6,000 to 8,000 cars. So the numbers just aren't matching uh, the optimism in the stock. You're very bearish on a stock. Morgan Stanley have been very constructive, headed up by Adam Jonas. Take a listen to what he had to say on a note this morning. While they may be dry in nature, we argue such questions are extremely important for a highly levered and cash-hungry company with 2025 bonds trading at 89 and around 88 as well and maybe dropping even lower from now. Gordon, your thoughts on that? These are really important questions. We have a CEO that seemingly wants to enjoy the benefits of being a private company and neglecting the fact they are actually a public company. <laughs> Indeed, and it's not just that. It's the fact that if you look at Electric, which a lot of people respect, they're estimating that the Gigafactory is only 30% built, which means you're going to need billions of dollars of incremental investment to build out the Gigafactory. If they want to do the Tesla Semi, which they're being sued for, by the way, a multi-billion dollar lawsuit right now for uh, uh, copying a design. If they want to do the Model Y, they want to do the, the Roadster, they're going to need billions of dollars from the exact institutions that analysts like I and the analysts on the call represent. So to, so, so to say that we're boring uh, would suggest that they're not going to get to the promised land that they need to get to. And it, it was very uh, interesting and um, uh, quite frankly, uh, I don't know the word to, to describe it. To <laughs>